If you have been following the politics in Nigeria, you'll realize that zoning, tribe, region is not the only important criteria. Religion is also very important. Most of the times, whatever any political party is offering will be Christian, Muslim, or vice versa. When Buhari was campaigning, Tinumbu was the man that they felt should be the vice president. But certain individuals said, no, we cannot do this. We need Christian, Muslim, Muslim, Christian ticket. And that is what it is. Eventually, Vice President Yemi Osibajo was brought into the equation. And we all understand what politics and governance is in Nigeria. Vice President are more or less like glorified Iran boys. Although the constitution marked certain jobs for them. Now, Tinumbu is hell bent on becoming president of Nigeria. And the vice president, also Yemi Osibajo, is also pushing to be president of Nigeria. Every one of them believes in they are weak. They believe in what they can do. They believe in their political sagacity. They believe in how they can reach up that ladder, how they can get into that esteemed office of president. They believe that they have all what it takes to get in there. Now, it's very important, bearing in mind that we are still saddled with this north and south, this contraption that has expired, being that we are saddled with this, you know, British experiment. Anyone that wants to be president must secure the interest of the North. And the North has a lot of interest. It could be terrorism, banditry, continuation of archaic practices such as earthmen and many other practices. A man that will secure a majority system, a man that will do the biddings of the North or rather um, kind of um, at least pamper them a bit, that person could come in the form of vice president or the president. It is very important that Tinumbu gets someone that the North will be comfortable. At least they will say we have someone in the corridor, not outside the corridor of power, inside the corridor. And they believe that a vice will do just exactly what they want. Now, who is that Christian in the North of Nigeria that will occupy that position as vice since Bola Tinumbu wants to be president? Are they going to sell us muslim muslim ticket because right now the talk is this bola metunumbu and el rufai the governor of kaduna state seems to be the offer that apc wants to present to nigeria now is it going to be acceptable is this going to work he has been seen praising El Rufai and, you know, the talk is as if they have a cordial relationship. But I'm thinking that if he is given the ticket, he will be looking from, he will be looking to the southeast of Nigeria. That is just what it is. He will be looking to the southeast of Nigeria. That is where they will try to find a partner. They will be trying to find someone who can assuage the southeasterners particularly the Igbos. now the vice president on the other hand is kind of believing in the president buhari also believing in the north certain individuals in the north the cabals and those that can make him president and maybe they are going to perform some miracles some wonders in INEC, you know like rigging the election and many other things who knows what is going to happen but from what we have right now on our table, and this is getting a lot of people hungry, they are like, no, we don't want this kind of, uh, we, we don't want this. It's like this Bola Metinubu is a sellout and they don't just want, in fact, some people are saying it's better they vote for Vice President Yemi Sibajo than Tinumbu. Well, People believe that Vice President Yemi Sibajo still has a little conscience in him, but I do not trust any of them. I don't trust any of them. Um, saying that you're a pastor, 
we know what these churches do. We know what pastors do. We know how they fleece their members. We know how they, you know, we know all what they do, even as pastors. We know. So I'm not going to say because he is a member of Redeem Christian Church. He has always tried to speak. No, no, no. It doesn't make any difference at the end of the day because there is no power to the constitution. In fact, the constitution itself, the laws are John this. They are not, they are not, they are, they are not just right for us. These laws, constitution, all of those things have been shaped in such a way. Many of these constitutions were created by the military. All of these have been shaped in a way to make sure that the people do not have a voice. The people cannot have a voice. Just imagine countries where things work. The laws and the constitution have been so empowered. There is separation of power. Presidents cannot just come out and begin to talk and act out of order. It doesn't just work. Have you ever seen in Nigeria, in this our dispensation, for the past 30 years or 35 years, let us even remove the military out of this. Let us look at the civilian. Have you ever seen the Senate in any way, any time, succeed in getting rid of any president? No. More or less like they are just out there to scream and shout when they need something for themselves. They are all birds of the same. Now, with this list of governors supporting Tinumbu, Oyetola of Ocean State, Sonwolu of Lagos State, Belo of Zamfara State, Babagana of Borno, Abdullah of Kanu, Aminu of Kastina, Rotimi of Ondo, Atiku of Kebi State, Abdullah of Nasarawa, Yaya of Gombe, Abubaka of Nainja, Badaru of Jigawa State. You know, it seems like Bolame Tunubu has gathered 12 um, governors and it seems all is looking rosy somehow, somehow looking rosy. Of course, uh, Ogu State will not support Tunubu. It will rather want to support VPO Sibajo. And some other governors who are not comfortable with Bola Metunumbu are still trying to test the waters to see where loyalty will be put to. And all of these governors, they might change at any time. Don't forget that these 12 governors will need huge amount of money from Bola Metunumbu. And Bola Metunumbu has already kind of circumvented, looted a lot of money from Lagos State. Now... These northerners that are in support of Bola Me Tinumbu, they signed Tinumbu's 2023 presidential form. All of these governors, uh, who knows, the ones from the north, they can turn at any time. The truth of the matter is this. Religions, religion plays a key role. So how is it possible for them to sell Muslim Muslim ticket? Tinumbu is not going to change to be a Christian. He might say he's a man who married a Christian and he's that kind of um, free. He's not a fanatic. That's not the issue here. Um, we are not talking of that. There is no, you don't, you barely find fanatics in the, in the south of Nigeria that are Muslims. But we are talking about the reality on ground. We are talking of the reality on ground. Now, people are angry and they are not comfortable with uh, all this you know, politics that is being played out and whatever, they won't break up of Nigeria. And if Nigeria has not broken up as that, uh, no, by 2023, they want a better offer, something, someone who can turn, you know, the tides around. You know, if VP Osibajo gets in there, he still needs a Muslim. He needs someone from the North. And the North are already looking at it like, I think that Vice President Osibajo, if we put him in, he seems to be someone who we can control. Though if power gets into his hand, he will do and undo. But let us have a vice president, at least someone from our own end. And who is that person? If the man that VP is kind of depending upon, um, the governor of Kaduna, Herufai, who we know can turn at any time. These guys have no permanent friend. You see, look at it. If he's believing that, I think that one we can work together. If that one is already rooting with, 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 with Tinumbu, what will become of this man? What will become of him? That is a question that I believe a lot of people are kind of asking themselves. The truth is this. We cannot just keep quiet about this and say, oh, nothing, nothing. Anything can happen in Nigeria. 
And don't forget that this terrible thing happening in the north of Nigeria, murdering people for religion, will tell a lot, will reflect a lot in politics. I mean, the person that steps in there as president. This thing is going nowhere. It has been happening and we've not seen anyone that has been arrested or locked or high and high. We've not seen it till date. I missed a lot of issues that we have in Nigeria. For me, I think the best option is for Nigeria to break. Then we can lead, we can kind of um, reduce this tension. Don't think that breaking up of Nigeria is the so total solution alone. No. Uh, we've seen Modakeke and Ife fight. I did not see people who speak same language. We've seen in the southeast of Nigeria, neighboring towns, villages, and tribes. We've seen Igbo man say Anambra, Anambra say Igbo man is nothing. We've seen Anambra say uh, the man, a boy man, is Nama. We've seen a lot. These things are still going to play out. Even in the southwest of Nigeria, where they speak the same language, you will see Kwara man say this. You will see Ondo man say we cannot speak. You will see Lagos man say, who are these people, these local people? I understand that these things are going to happen, but the only solution to whatever you think, whatever you feel, is the rule of law. Once that can be upheld, made strong, there is no president or anyone that will come in there that can do and undo or misbehave because the law is greater than you. That is the solution and nothing more. Do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so. Tap on the red notification icon.